Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, It's been a little while since I've posted a video. I haven't been able to do a whole lot of metal detecting. Uh, deer season's in full swing and I just haven't got out. Anyway, uh, I found quite a bit of stuff this year. Quite a bit of relics, quite a bit of coins. And I decided to show you guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys here something a little bit about electrolysis. About electrolysis. About uh, cleaning up your relics, your old iron relics that you find like horseshoes and old tools or if you're lucky like aqua chigger and find all the cool stuff uh... But anyway take a look over here and I'll show you guys what it consists of on how to make set up a electrolysis, electrolysis for you to clean up your old relics alright let me go through the stuff that you guys are going to need to set up your electrolysis uh, some kind of container, bucket, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, you need some kind of uh, sodium bicarbonate, Arm & Hammer baking soda, or even the cheap stuff works. Uh, I got this at a, a dollar store, it's like two boxes for a buck. Got my measuring cup. Now, uh, when it comes to powering your electrolysis setup. I've got a Cornwell charger here. Uh, this ain't the old, old style, but this one will still work without a battery being hooked up to it. Any any of the new, ch new chargers will not work uh, without a battery hooked up to it, but this one does. So, this has got 2 amp, 10 amp, 55 amp boost, which we will never use that. I, I usually do my stuff on 2 amp. So, got your bucket. You need some kind of uh, receiving rod. I, I've already drilled holes in the bucket right here. Got a zip tie. I took two six inch bolts, connected them together. I don't know if you can really see it down in there, but uh, got a zip tied to the bucket. That, this is going to be the positive side hookup. Now what you're going to do it's depend on what, what jug you got, how many gallons you're going to use. I'm going to put about three gallons of water in this bucket. So let me go ahead and get water put in it. I'll get back with you. <clears throat> okay, I got my bucket. I got three gallons of water in there. Uh, now as far as your baking soda goes, I usually uh, like to use half a cup of baking soda per gallon of water. So let me get this one up here. So I've got about three gallons of water in here. I've got a half cup here. Go ahead and put well, go ahead and put three of these in here. Three cups put in there. You want to mix it up real good. Got something here to mix it with. You want to make sure you use sodium bicarbonate. Uh, Arm and Hammer baking soda has got like a washing detergent too that works, but I like the baking soda. Got to make sure you get it mixed up real good. up and we've got the connectivity rod in there. We've got the charger here. Pan this around a little bit here so you can see. I'm gonna set it on two amps. Do not do not plug it in until you got everything set up. Now we've got our positive and negative terminals. The positive is going to go on your receiving rod which is on the side of the bucket. Your ground always attaches to whatever you're performing electrolysis to. If you have them the other way, 
that'll be bad. Your relic will be no good. Now what I'm doing today, got me an old horseshoe. Uh, I found this in the giving fields and uh, it's on one of my videos I uploaded, the giving fields. So uh, what, I, what I do with some stuff like this, I drilled a little hole in the back of it because I'm going to have it hang on the wall with the front out or the bottom out. But I drilled a little hole, I attached a screw to it and I got me a piece of wire on here. Now what you want to do is, since I got the screw in there, it's so, since it's so rusty, you're not going to get good contact. I drilled a hole, put the screw in there, it's going to have real good contact now to perform the electrolysis on the, on the piece. I'm going to dip it in the water. One thing you want to know is, you do not want your piece and your electrode, or your rod that's in the water, touching. You want them away from each other. So we're going to set that down in here like that. I got my wire here. I got my negative terminal here. I'm gonna attach it right here like that. Better yet, I'm just gonna leave this one off the side of the bucket. I got it attached, I'm just gonna let it hang over like that. Now, we'll move this up the camera up here. If I can't get it up here and get a good view for you guys, what's going to be happening here? Just fuck it forward. Okay. Now, I got my charger set at 2 amps. Uh, you don't want to do much more than that. You really don't need it. Unless it's a real big, big, big iron object, then maybe 10 amps would be suitable. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. Might want to use my plug over here. Alright, I got her plugged in. Now I'm going to show you guys here. Let me see here. And hook the camera so I can give you guys a good view here. Now, as you can see, you'll see the receiving rod is also got some bubbles coming from it. Now, if you get down, you can see the horseshoe is bubbling. That's the electrolysis doing its job. Look at like especially right there. See all see all all the material and rust falling off of it. It's already doing its job. Same on the other side. That's good. It's starting to work. So we're gonna leave this in here, and I'm gonna leave it cook for about probably uh, overnight. Give it a good ten hours see where it's at but got her on two amps showed you guys what you got to mix in there about how many gallons and you too could make your own electrolysis tank five gallon bucket is fine for me for what for what I'm doing I find I don't find all the cannonballs and the mortar shells and all that stuff like Bo does uh, aqua chigger but uh Nugget Nog and he finds some good relics too. But I'm here in Ohio. I haven't had the opportunity to find anything good like I'm gonna do a whole lot of water hunting next year, but I've got a lot of iron I need to clean up and I just want to show you guys how to set up electrolysis. Um, I'll get back with you here after this sets. We'll pull it out, let you see what it looks like, and then I'll do another video on uh wax treatment on your iron objects. All right, well here we are. This thing sat in the electrolysis overnight. And this is the finished product of it being in there. I mean, you guys seen how rusty it was. It turned out real nice. All that rust fell off of it. It turns to, turns to iron black, but that's all right. You gotta, when you pull mine, you need to take a ball peen hammer or something and just tap on it and all that rust will fall right off. It's a little thin but I found this in the giving fields and I'm pretty sure that this is a hammered shoe uh, by looking at it. I don't think it's a forged. It could be a forged but it's still a nice relic. I'm going to hang it in my my finds room. I'm building me a finds room. I'll go with that in a later video show you, show you guys everything I've found but there it is. That's electrolysis.
Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck. Happy hunting.